A memorial outside the scene of the shooting has been flooded with visitors, many of them students. Chris Trainer, who was killed, and his wife Loretta, who survived, both beloved high school teachers. He's amazing, made every class fun. All of our classes were games. Um, I think everybody, it doesn't feel real. That it doesn't feel real at all. Something like this could happen to such a remarkable family. Their four children, Sam, Brad, Adelaide, and Joseph. Sam wasn't home the night of the attack. He was the only child who survived. Joseph was the youngest and played baseball with his dad. He was nice, very caring, easy to get along with. His dad was one of the coaches. He was very nice, funny. Yeah. It's sad. Adelaide, just entering high school. She's a fun girl. She was always smiling. Always happy. Yeah. Positive person. And Brad, close with Peter Gregory and Claire Dennis. You take a high school and he's the best trait of everybody in that school. Like he's like the the most stand up guy. Every like, time you saw him, he had a huge grin from ear to ear on his face. Yeah, the biggest smile, the brightest smile in every room. Loretta's brother, 48-year-old Mitchell Lapa from Winnipeg, allegedly drove to Oshawa and allegedly turned his gun on the family and then on himself. Winnipeg police are assisting Durham police with the investigation. It's devastating. It is. It's like, I don't, I, things like this just boggle my mind. Like, why? A question reverberating across the country. Loretta Trainer is recovering in hospital, countless friends and strangers, keeping her and her remaining son Sam in their prayers. The Gregory and Dennis scene. started a crowdfunding site. And I'm just glad everybody's come together as a community. Yeah, I really can't, can't find words to describe this feeling. It's just so tragic. Gone way too soon. As you guys can see, their loves. This is only gonna grow. As is support across the country for the mother and her son. Aaron Broman, CBC News, Winnipeg.